Danny has been my favorite YouTuber since I started game development. But now it's been two years that he doesn't upload on YouTube. Probably because he's working out on Carson or some other top secret projects. So what I decided to do to still feel his presence is to create a game based on what Danny likes. Ragdolls, Particles, Speedrun, Milk and Billy. But in an alternative version. So, the general idea is to make a 3D game where you play as Danny, and your goal is to get the milk as fast as you can. And yeah, if you're wondering, it's basically what Danny does every day. But the only problem is that to reach and get the milk, you need to fight enemies, use pressure pad, boxes, planks, and other grab things that I'm gonna show you later on. In total, the game will be composed of 10 levels, and as you progress, they will become harder and harder, with even more enemies and puzzle features. So yeah. Let's start working on the game. After opening Unity and create a new 3D project, the first thing I usually use to do is create a cube, which for now it will be the ground. And because I really enjoy make all the models first, I decided to already make the Danny's character using Blender. Give to it a bone structure, import it into Unity and voila, here it is with all of his fashion. Because this will be a physics based game, we need to make Danny go. And yeah, you know what I mean, we need to make it physically interactive. So to make this possible, we have to add a rigid body component on all the body parts of the model, with another strange component that I never heard about, which is the configur configurable joint. But I know that it will help us connecting all the body parts of the model to make sure this is not gonna happen. So now, after set correctly all this stuff with the help of this precious YouTube channel, I give to the player the possibility to walk. And yeah, it's still a little bit drunk, but it's totally all under control. It's fine, yeah. After spending like one hour finding the best parameters to have the perfect player balance and stability, we can proceed to add milk, which is one of the most iconic things of the Danny's character. And because of that, it will be the win condition of the game. So let's model a carton of milk in Blender and to make it a little bit more funny, I decided to draw a cute smiley face on it. Because milk is equal to happiness. So yeah, drink milk boners. And now that we have also milk, we can smash it into the editor and make it a spinny boy. But before testing it, we need to add some juicy. Because in real life, when you drink milk, you make particles, right? So let's create a wonderful particle system to simulate the drinking of a carton of milk. And yes! Just by that, now it looks pretty cool. However, if I'm gonna be honest with you, in real life getting the milk is not that easy. So what I decided to do is to create some obstacles, like a box, a plank and a red button. That actually, they are not really obstacles. Like yeah, they could be obstacles except the button, but if you use them in the right way, they can be useful for you to get the milk. So after playing around a little bit on the scene, I realized that this place is dead. It needs some life, so what a better time to add some nature, like trees and rocks. And yeah, also a floating island to change this giant square, because it was just annoying and not right. However, if you think about ragdoll physics games, 90% of the time they will have a feature called it grab, which is basically the possibility to grab objects or even players. In our case, we will add this feature on the player hands, to give him the possibility to move around objects, such as the box or the plank to be able to activate things or reach certain points. So by simply holding and releasing the right button of the mouse, we can accordingly pick up or drop objects, just in case the object that you want to pick up is triggered in the box area of the hand. After that, it's time to make our game hot, because for now it's way too chill and we don't want that. So what a better way to do it by adding a spike trap that it activates when you step on it and a big fat happy spike ball, ready to chase you and turn you into Spongebob. But yeah, it isn't actually real hard to get rid of this ball, you just have to dodge it and make it fall over. Then because seeing these shitty blocks makes my mind disturbed, I made the new models also for the box and for the plank which now are a little bit better than before, with not so many details or complicated stuff to remain in the style of the game. Ok, so the game is starting to get in shape, but we still last a lot of things to add to make it more enjoyable. And one thing that could help us doing that is the red button, 
which it was useless since before. So what a better time to give it the possibility to, I don't know, spawn guns from the sky? <laughs> yeah. Useful to fight enemies later on. What do you think, Plip? Is that a good idea? So to make this possible, let's make a script for the button to randomly spawn objects, then make some animations for when we click it, and finally import the first gun model, which in this case is a simple classic pistol. And boom! Guns are now falling from the sky, but we can't use them yet. So let's get a basic gun script with shoot, reload, aim, and yeah, always the same methods to make a gun functional. And after creating also some particles effect, here it is in action. The controls of the gun are pretty simple. Left mouse to shoot, R key to reload, and right mouse to aim. A and trust me, it's a totally accurate aiming system, what are you saying? Talking again a little bit more about enemies, before we only added two of them. And because now we have guns in our hand, we can start making some pretty dangerous enemies. And at certain point, I started thinking, wait. I could add Billy to the game, which is one of the other famous iconic things of the Dennis games. This sort of friendly bullied cube robot from Carson. So I decided to make Billy, but in an alternative version. Let me introduce you to Billy 2.0. Basically it's Billy, but instead of having legs, it has a tire and it explodes. So let's quickly import it into Unity, giving the colors that it needs and finally assign to it a simple AI pathfinding movement script, which always by taking inspiration from the Billy of Carson, I added this little feature where its face change in an evil way depends on the distance you are from it. And yeah, I know, it's pretty cool, right? It's a sort of signal that warns you when you are in the attack range. Now because there are just a few particles playing around, I feel like I need to add more of them, because if there aren't at least 69 particles effect for each single single game object in the scene is not a dining game. So I started brainstorming what objects can produce a big amount of particles in just a single moment. And finally I come up with this, which I guess they are pretty fun. Who don't likes explosive barrels? Like, boom. After playing around a little bit with the barrels, I literally started adding random things that they were just coming up to my head. Shotgun. Billy's brother. That shit this. Flying dick. Banana but boomerang, pressure pad, machine gun, and another brother of Billy but with a little piston on top of its head. However, now we have pretty much the essential things to start build up the first levels. So let's delete all the things, add a title, add some buttons, add some environment stuff to make all a little bit less empty, and then what else? Then I polished a little bit the menu and let's go. Here is how it looks. You can also move the Dennis character while you are in the scene, which is pretty sick. After making the main menu, it's time to make all the 10 levels of the game, but really hard levels, like for pro gamers only. So starting from the level one, then level two, level three, level four, level five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. After make all of them, I also created a scene where you can choose the level to play. And to not make a classic boring UI with some boring buttons, I instead placed the cartons of milk that if you're gonna jump on them, they're gonna take you to the level you choose. Then because jumping an infinity amount of times was broken, I decided to add a jump stamina. And to make the player a common mortal, I give to it also a health bar. And finally, after adding a speedrun system with high score tracking and playtesting the game at school with my friends, I added a panel for the win and for the lose, added some sound effects and make a banger background music with Google Song Maker. Now the last thing we need to do is to compile the player settings, make a cool ass extra Saturday logo and export the game. And we are done. The game is now available on itch.io and if you want there is the link in the description. The game is actually pretty hard to play at the beginning. But once you practice and learn, it can be easy for you to complete all the levels without any struggle. So gamers, it's all for this video. If you liked it, please smash that fat like button. And if you didn't like it, smash dislike. And let me know in the comments below what do you think about this video or about the game or about, I don't know, whatever you want. You can write it down below. It will be really appreciated to get some feedback from you. So guys, thanks for watching and we will see in the next video.